Hello, welcome to fifth grade, chapter 11, lesson 10. We're going to go ahead and get started. Um, so I'm going to read number one just so that you have the idea of how you got to number two because number two is connected. So it says, Anita wants to make a mold for a candle. She wants the shape of the candle to be a rectangular prism with a volume of exactly 28. So this is the part that we need for the second one. Okay, so it says Amita decides that she wants to, the molds to have a rectangular sorry a square base okay square means that you have to have the same number on each side okay so how many possible molds can she use well the only squares that she can do are one by one or two by two because three by three would give us nine and nine doesn't go into 28 we need the whole number to be able to be multiplied to get to 28 so one by one is one times 28 that gives us 28 and two by two is four and then multiplied by seven is 28 okay so only two molds okay okay so now this next one is kind of tricky so it says raymond wants to make a box that has a volume of 360 cubic inches he wants the height to be 10 inches and the other two dimensions to be the whole number of inches. How many different size boxes can you make? Okay, so first let's divide. In order to get the length and width alone, we're going to divide the whole thing by 10, which gets that out. And whatever I do to that side of the equal sign, I need to do to this side. Okay, so that takes care of that one. And then that would just take the zero off. So now I have 36 equals length times width. Okay. So now I need to do the different ways I can make 36. Okay. So I can do one and 36. I can do two and 18. I can do three and 12. I can do four times nine and I can do six times six. Now, None of these want for us to use the one. So one and 36 are out. Okay. So now Oh, sorry guys. My bad. They actually do want us to use this one on this one. So we're going to keep the one and 36, okay? So now there's one way, two way, three ways, four, and five. So five boxes. Okay, how many different size boxes can he make? Five different kinds of boxes. Okay, one size, two size, three size, four size, five. Okay, six by six is 36. Okay, just that a small box that is 12 inches by 8 inches by 4 inches inside of a tall box that is 20 by 15 by 9. How much space is left? So we're going to do the big box and then do the little box and then subtract them to find the difference, okay? So I'm going to do that on another piece of paper just so that we've got a little more room, okay? So we have 20 by 15 by 9 and we have 12 by 8 by four okay so i'm going to do the 15 by nine first okay nine times five is 45 carrier four nine times one is nine plus four 13. now i'm going to multiply that by the 20 because i can just take off that zero and put it at the end and now two times five is 10 carry our one two times three is six plus one is seven and two times one is two okay so now we're going to have two thousand seven hundred and we're going to subtract whatever this is so i know that four times eight is 32 and 32 by 12. so i'm going to come over here i'm going to do 32 by 12. There's not an easy way to multiply this one. So, okay, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6, 
we're going to tic tac and toe, and then one times 32, subtract. That doesn't compute. I'm adding, not subtracting. Goodness. Okay, four, eight, three. So we are subtracting 384. Okay, now zeros can't take away anything, so I'm going to go over and borrow, making that a 10. Now it's a 9, so I can make that last one a 10. Okay, 10 minus 4 is 6, 9 minus 8 is 1, 6 minus 3 is 3, and bring down our 2. So, 2,316. And we're in inches, and we did inches by inches by inches, so it's going to be inches cubed, or you can put cubic inches if you want. Okay? All right. So, now, so Mrs. Nelson has a rectangular flower box that is five feet long and two feet tall. She wants the width of the box to be no more than five feet. If the width is a whole number, what are the possible lines of the flower box? So, I wants to be no more than five feet. Okay? So, all I did was put in the five by two, which is what it is. It's five by two, okay? And then I did it by one, by two, by three, by four, and by five because she wants a max of five, okay? First, I want you guys to understand that this on every single one of them is 10. Five times two is 10. So I'm just gonna do 10 times whatever the last number is. So 10 times one, 10, 10 times two, 20, 10 by three, 30, 10 by four, 40, 10 by five, 50. Okay. That's all that is, guys. Okay. Okay. So the last one, I'm going to read it to you and I'm going to tell you how to do it and then you guys are going to do it. So Sophina bought three yards of trim to put around a rectangular scarf. She wants the width of the scarf to be a whole number that, that is at least six and at most 12. So somewhere between six and 12. If she uses all the trim, what are the possible dimensions of her scarf? Write your answer in inches. So first, you need to turn your yards to inches. Okay. Then go ahead and solve that. Okay. All right. We're going to go on to the back where you guys are going to do the lesson check, just like always. And we're going to go down and do the summer review. So the movie is two hours and 28 minutes long. If it starts at 7.50 p.m., what time will the movie end? Okay, so 7.50 to 8.50 is one hour. And 9.50 is our two hours, okay? So now we just need to add 28 minutes on. Well, we know that hours only go up to 60 minutes. So then we would add 10 minutes which would get us to 10 p.m. And then 28 minus that 10 is 18. So 10, 18 p.m. Okay, there's our one hour, two hours. Okay, but we're at 50. So to get us to 60, we just added 10 minutes. Okay, so out of that 28 minutes, I took 10 away. Okay, so we're already at 10 o'clock. Add those extra 18 minutes that are still left, 10, 18. Okay, how many rectangular faces does a pentagonal pyramid have? Well, it doesn't have any rectangular faces. They're all pentagons. So zero rectangular faces. Okay, an aquarium is in the shape of a rectangular prism. Its length is 24, its width is 12, and its height is 14. How much water can the aquarium hold? Okay, so I'm just going to go down here and I'm going to put 24 by 12 by 14. So we can do all that multiplication. Okay, so 24 by 12. Okay, two times four is eight, two times two is four. I'm going to go through and tic-tac-toe 
1 times 24 and add those up. So 8, 8, 2. So now we're going to have 288 and we're going to multiply that by 14. Okay, 4 times 8 is 32, carry our 3. 4 times 8 is 32 again, plus 3 is 35, carry the 3 again. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 3 is 11. We're going to go through and tick, tack, and toe, and then 1 times 288 is 288. We're going to add those up. Okay, 2, 13, carry our 1, 10. And four. So 4,032 were in inches, so cubic inches. So 4,032. You can write cubic inches or you can write inches cubed. Either one is totally fine, but make sure that you pause and write down your work. This is your work for this one. Okay? Okay. We are going to, is what does the volume of the rectangular prism show? Well, two times three is six, times six more is 36. We are in meters and it is meters cubed because we did meters by meters by meters. That's it guys. Okay, thanks for hanging out for 11.10. Come on back for 11.11, .11. see you soon.